please be seated. Good afternoon. I'm Professor Melissa Westwood, Associate Vice President for Research, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the University of Manchester and the splendid surroundings of the Whitworth Hall for this graduation ceremony. In particular, I'd like to welcome our graduates whose hard work and magnificent achievements in the face of marked adversity we are here to celebrate today. You have met and overcome challenges not known for a century, making these achievements all the more remarkable. The skills, knowledge and experience you developed during your studies have given you a strong platform to not only build your career and achieve your goals, but also to succeed in the face of any obstacles you may meet in the future. We're also delighted to see so many friends, family and supporters here. We thank you for the support and encouragement you have given to our graduates during their studies. We know that it's been hard for you too, but your support has been so important to their success. You can be extremely proud of what they have achieved, their tutors and members of staff across their schools and faculty certainly are. When those of you graduating today chose to study at the University of Manchester, you decided to make your mark on the future, not only for yourselves, but for the greater good of society and the environment. As the first university in the UK to set social responsibility as a core goal, we encourage all of our students to engage in transformational activities, both in their studies and beyond, to help them stand out, consider their place in the world, and to make a difference. Throughout the course of your studies and life at university, you will have gained the skills and knowledge to find success and become responsible leaders of tomorrow. Although you may be glad to see the back of assignments or your thesis for now, the planning, research and writing skills you nurtured and put to use will be of great value in the world of work or perhaps during further study. And of course, we must not forget the strong, supportive friendships and relationships you have forged here, which I hope you will sustain for many years to come. Put simply, your achievement in completing your degree cannot be overestimated, given the challenging times that we have faced, not only as a community, but as citizens of the world. And as you reflect on your past and plan for your future, allow yourself to be inspired by the university's motto, Cognitio Sapientia Humanitas, Knowledge, Wisdom, Humanity. We encourage you to boldly pursue new ideas and share and apply your knowledge to benefit others. With these aims in mind, you will continue to build on the success you've enjoyed in your studies and make a difference to the world around you. You can be confident that wherever you choose to live, work and make an impact throughout the coming years, the value of your degree will be widely recognised. Manchester is known as one of the world's leading universities, placed 27th in the QS University World Rankings and 5th in the UK in the academic rankings of world universities. But beyond our reputation as a renowned centre of academic excellence and pioneering research and discovery, we are increasingly recognised for the contribution we make to the society and the environment. In April 2021, our focus on social responsibility culminated in our university ranking first in the world in the Times Higher Education University Impact Rankings which rates institutions on their contributions to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. This fantastic achievement epitomises our core values and recognises all that we have um, achieved together, delivering benefits for the good of society and transforming lives for the better. During your studies, you have all, in your own way, enriched and contributed to the University of Manchester as it exists today. You have helped to shape the future for those who will follow in your footsteps. And by reflecting on your experiences and telling us how we could make them even better, you have given us the blueprint to achieve our bold ambitions to be among the best in the world. 
The university is changing and will continue to change for the better because of you. So today is just as much about honouring you for this contribution as for your success in your studies. Armed with your academic success, your skills and your breadth of experiences, there is every reason to be positive about the future. As you may have experienced already, your job prospects, having studied here, are enviable because employers all around the world recognise the value of your degree. Obtaining your degree is a hugely important milestone, especially given the global challenges you have overcome, but this is not the end of your journey and your association with Manchester. We're proud to have the largest alumni community of any campus-based university in the UK, with over half a million graduates in more than 190 countries around the world, all linking back to Manchester. And as alumni, you can help future students in so many ways, as ambassadors of the university, in student placements and employment, and directly in the development of the university, which is vital to our future. So we sincerely hope today will not be your last contact with the university. Remember, our doors will always be open to you. Thank you. I'm now going to pass to my colleague, Dr Melanie Giles, who's going to say a few words about your school. Thank you. <laughs> Presiding Officer of the University, colleagues, graduates, and your family and friends, I am delighted to congratulate those of you graduating today on your success in obtaining your degrees and to be able to do so back in the wonderful setting of Whitworth Hall. Some of you will have waited a long time for this moment and it is a privilege to be able to share it with you. This ceremony brings together students from a number of different disciplines within the schools of art, languages and cultures and you will all have particular memories of your time here. Despite perhaps indeed because of the challenges of the last two years, um, I will particularly treasure the achievements I have had the opportunity to witness and to be a part of, both in person and online. Not just teaching events, but exhibitions, concerts, conferences and performances, and not least some wonderful social events. None of this would have been possible without you. Your willingness to adapt and to engage with new ways of learning, your ability to think laterally and find creative solutions, your resilience. I know that my colleagues are extremely proud of what you have achieved in such unusual and uniquely challenging times. Studying for a degree involves the whole academic community, students, teaching staff and support staff in a collective endeavour in which we all learn from each other. We have been inspired by you, as we hope you have been inspired by your degree programmes and by those who taught you and supported you. I would therefore like to ask you to start by joining with me in thanking our teaching and support staff for all their efforts and dedication during your time with us. Manchester University has a long and proud history of commitment to the arts and humanities. It was one of the first universities in the 19th century to offer degree programmes in English and history. The academic breadth of the present School of Arts, Languages and Cultures is demonstrated by its range of departments and specialisms. Religions and theology, art history, classics, ancient history, archaeology and Egyptology, languages and linguistics, translation and intercultural communication, heritage studies, American studies, museology and arts management. Many of you are graduating today with degrees from creative subjects, creative writing and playwriting, film, music and drama. All of our subjects benefit enormously from being taught in a university and a city bursting with creativity. Not many universities can boast such important and prestigious cultural assets as the Whitworth and the Manchester Museum, or a globally leading library such as the John Rylands. 
Access to these collections and involvement with their exhibitions and events enriches our degree programmes, as does critical engagement with those collections. That critical engagement has been demonstrated by the involvement of colleagues and students in the school in ongoing research investigating the university's early benefactors and their involvement in slavery. In 2019, Manchester joined the university's studying slavery network as part of an active programme of engagement considering the history of our institution, gaining knowledge that helps to provide a new foundation from which to begin new conversations about the type of changes we need to make today to address ongoing racial and ethnic inequalities. We are fortunate to have a close relationship with the making of cultural policy in the city and its region, working together through initiatives such as the Oxford Road Corridor and the Civic Universities Agreement. The university has recently demonstrated that commitment by raising the Creative Manchester Initiative to the status of research platform, establishing creativity and innovation as a key university-wide focus. All of our degrees embrace the rich intellectual benefits of interdisciplinary study. As the students graduating today from the Humanitarian and Conflict Response Institute demonstrate, that work reaches well beyond the arts and humanities through collaborations with the World Health Organization, Save the Children, Médecins Sans Frontières and the Red Cross. What unites us is an interest in what makes us human, what it is to be part of humanity and the responsibilities which come with that. Our degree programmes examine some of the most controversial and exciting topics of the time. They signal the university's commitment to exploring the grand challenges of the day and they ensure that you will be ready to engage with your fellow human beings in a responsible, self-aware and intellectually critical manner. So as we congregate here to celebrate, we also reaffirm the importance of the University of Manchester's mission and values. Your achievement is due to our own hard work, the intellectual curiosity which you brought to your field of study and your engagement with experts here at Manchester, but also and very importantly, to the support you have received from your family and friends. So before I finish with a few practical words, I would like to ask our graduates to turn towards your supporters on the right and give them a loud and resounding cheer. <laughs> to conclude, and on a practical note, I am pleased to confirm that the school will this year once again offer a £3,000 bursary to any student graduating from the university with a first-class degree who registers on one of our MA programmes. The school's web and social media officer has asked me to remind you to use hashtag SalkGrad and hashtag UOM graduation to show what you're up to today. And you can also follow at UOM Salk students for live tweets. After this ceremony, I invite you all to join colleagues and your fellow graduates for a reception in the graduation marquee near Dilworth Street. As you receive your degree, you enter a new relationship with the University of Manchester. We very much hope that you will be, continue to be an active part of that extended community of alumni and supporters to nurture an interest in the life of the university and the students who follow in your steps to take pride in the collective achievements of this institution. The loyalty, support and goodwill of our students are the foundation of that future. Please keep in touch with us and visit us when you are back in Manchester. We wholeheartedly wish you happiness and success in both your life and your work. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the School of Arts, Languages and Cultures for the postgraduate research degrees.
Molly Arbutnut. Peter James Bjorklund. Samuel Flynn. And Adelaide McGinnity Peebles. And for the postgraduate taught awards, Alex Adams. Sibia Akta. Janine Ezel. Amber Berry. Charlotte Benneman. Kenza Boston. Rebecca Chan. Chloe Kate Cunliffe. Alicia Eccleston. Abby Jo Ann Fogarty. Katie Gill. Jack Hassan. Hassan. Freya Hinton. Fajana Kabir. Alice Catherine Mary Kinghorn. Emma Beatrix Mary Litva Bailey. <laughs> Lucia Maltoni. <laughs> Francine Elizabeth McMahon. <laughs> Connor O'Brien. Madeline Celia Maud Peden. <laughs> Kilkurut Sag Kaur Sagu. <laughs> Jennifer Jane Sanders. <laughs> Emmy Tozawa. Leah J. Watson. <laughs> Esther Zarifi. <laughs> and for the undergraduate awards, Jamie Harold Acton.
Rebecca Elizabeth Alston. Sumaya Amin. Rory Anderson. Lucy Appleby. Arthur Joseph Arnold. Zoe Atwell. Charlotte Barrow. Matthew Thomas James Barton. George Sidney Bates. Martha Bennett. Lucy Bernstein. Eva Bevitt. Isabel Billington. Charlotte Bird. Luca Henry Bolton. Callum Bordas. Rebecca Elizabeth Ann Bolton. Ella Lee Bracey. Ella Grace Broadbent. Matthew Stephen Brown. Catherine Ann Berniston. Mia Kamara. Emma Capocci. Isaac Collinson. Faye Kirtney. Megan Cronin. Ella Cullen. Catherine Anne Mary Cunningham. Ellen Da Costa. Lauren Davies. Sayonika De Broy. Amaya Della Moy. Evangelina Dixon. Kizia Mary Mavis Diggle. Emma Donington Kay. Marco Tribra.
Bethany Duncan. <laughs> Megan Rose Duxbury. <laughs> Yoon Jae Oh. <laughs> Jessica Foster. Holly Louise Franklin. <laughs> Mandy Gao. <laughs> Paula Jo Gaskill. <laughs> Emily Frances Gilpin. Sandra Gogach. George Lucas Goodhand. Sally Ann Karina Hamriding. Georgia Felice Harding. Ella Harrison. <laughs> Connor Hart. <laughs> Ruby Harvey. <laughs> Megan Catherine Howley. Madeline J. Heathcliff Core. <laughs> Lauren Henriksen. <laughs> Karis Henry. <laughs> Lydia Holt. Mary Horbin. <laughs> Sophia Iqbal. <laughs> Leila Isaka. <laughs> Holly Jackson. Isabel Lucy Jackson. <laughs> Janine Claire Yaloshos. <laughs> Katerina Yerazzi. <laughs> Ray Wang. Chang. Lucy Charlotte Johnson. Adrian Cagnoli. Olivia Kemp. Sana Kershum Leah. Nathan James Wayin Kwong.
Hang Kai Lal. Pavondip Kao Lali. Mary Lee. Clara Boguslava Lee. Daisy Lee. Sophie Lee. Kleena Linehan. Katie Liu. Safia Lokat. Josephine May Lyon. Yin Ma <laughs> Megan Alice Matthews <laughs> Kerry Jean Davy McCall <laughs> Isaac McQuinn Brendan McNally. Christopher Meadowcroft. Jessica Miller. Corey Mitchell. Saren Gayaf Morgan Roberts. Anna Morrissey. Alexandra Murphy. Sarah Needham. <laughs> Harry James William Newman Wally. <laughs> Lila Nicholson. Nixon. <laughs> Sophie Nixon. <laughs> Nicola Louise Nuttall. <laughs> Lucy O'Dare. Kieran O'Dwyer. <laughs> Hannah Oweredo Yebayo. <laughs> Violetta Pes. Eleanor Page. (laughs) 
Isabel Parkin. <laughs> Natasha Parsons. <laughs> Aisha Patel. <laughs> Philippa Payne. Jamila Jane Pierce. <laughs> Hannah Peasgood. <laughs> Harry Andrew Pease. Roberto Piccone. <laughs> Joey Pine. <laughs> Sophie Polizzi. <laughs> Catherine Porter. Ailish Mari Prentice. <laughs> William Thomas Preston. <laughs> Charlotte Elizabeth Riley. Jonah Rossiter. Harrison Russell. Lucien Ruthenberg. Christopher Sanwo. Evan Saunders. Annalena Schaefer. Anna Scott. Elliot James Christopher Scott. <laughs> Eleanor Scott. <laughs> Harry Ashton Scott. <laughs> Kerry Scott. Emma Seaton. <laughs> Mariam Shabir. <laughs> Francesca Emily Shanahan. Isabella Alice Sharp. <laughs> Molly Sarah Simpson. <laughs> Emily Songhurst. <laughs> Nila Stoiber.
Anthony Strong. Jenny Sue. Grace Schwiatek. Ellen May Simmons. Oscar Tapper. Katie Taylor. Maisie Taylor. Faith Thompson. Rebecca Walker. Anna Warburton Ball. Mia Warren Smith. Eve Wasp. Ellis Watkins. Sarah Watts. Tatum Caitlin Wells. Lucy Wharton. Charlie Whiting. Isabella Charlotte Wood. <laughs> Xiaoyi Wu. <laughs> Xiaoyi Yang. <laughs> Hadika Zafar. Shi Han Ju. <laughs> Ji Wu Ju. <laughs> Patricia Wong. <laughs> Margaret Gibby. Ella Hall. <laughs> Hedy Irvin. <laughs> Oliver Chanel. <laughs> Yufei Song. And for the postgraduate taught awards, Lev Eakins.
graduates, please stand. Guests and supporters, please stand to join me in congratulating our graduates. On behalf of our university, I once again congratulate you all on your excellent achievements and I wish you every success and happiness in your future lives and careers. I now declare this ceremony closed.